Hello there. I haven't done a video for a little while, um, pressing concerns like earning a living and some such. Um, but I would like to introduce this uh, new video as uh, yet another experiment in the uh, in the showing, as it were, because I, I think it's important to always. Um, approach one's astrology when you see the uh, particular rules or ideas of astrology it's always a good idea to approach them in an, ex in an experimental manner just to see how they work out because in this way astrology is a, a, an intuitive science it is a science in the sense that we follow certain rules and we, we have certain assumptions and it's important to test them out in actual practice and so this is why I've done quite a lot of videos uh, on uh, political matters and bits and pieces to see if the, what, what the astrology says actually works out in practice. And this is another one at a case in point. I haven't done a, a video on Donald Trump before, but of course he's mostly in the news. We can see this uh, uh, Leo ascendant and Mars there. Uh, there's the force of his personality, uh, always being first, doing first things, being proud, being um, um, making a show of things in many ways. A, that Leo seeks to promote a, 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 a sense of themselves which is large and important at least that's in an extroverted sense we can see this in his stature in his countenance and also in the way that he says things making uh, making america great again and so on in many ways this is the chart of a salesman with the gemini up here the double talk the chat uh, and uh, all this beautiful trines here which i like to uh, the, the jupiter making people feel good making you know talking things up and so on this is a a style uh, i think which um is is the style of a of a salesman we also see this moon in Sagittarius getting riled up very quickly, um, and the hyperbole which he uses uh, very often, although he may change his mind just as often. Uh, I think this is a large-scale strategy to be unpredictable with the Uranus here, and we can see this very importantly in his personality. It's a style. It bringing bringing a certain kind of um, uh, a character to the position in which he finds himself. Um, it might not be traditional. It might not be to everybody's likes. But what we have here is a clear demonstration of horoscopic reality in, within the personality of Donald Trump. Um, but we also see here. Um, perhaps behind the scenes, and we don't see this that uh, in him particularly, although I believe it's there, is a large-scale emotional reactionism. We see here that the moon is in um, Sagittarius, and this man can be inflamed in his feelings, uh, quick to arouse a very kind of um, temperamental um, a, a, a person. He sees things in the future which he doesn't like, and so on. It, it, it just comes out in this big, uh, uh, rather um, uh, uh, unedited way. I think with Moon in Uranus, if the feelings aren't, if the feelings are kept down, they, they, they just, they, they can create tremendous worries in the head. Moon Uranus, we can often see emotional erratic behavior. And by erratic, I don't mean nonsensical. What I mean is that the instantaneousness of this moon, as soon as the feeling is here, it needs to erupt in a form of words. Um, Uranus in Gemini here has a, a disposition to uh, uh, create uh, a, a surprise, shall we say, in people. But this man is a highly emotional person and that if, if he sees it or hears about anything that um, uh, is, is, um, uh, affects him emotionally, so say we, we, he's quick to anger, quick to rise to things, but also an ebullient personality, a jovial personality in many ways. Anyway, this isn't a chart uh, uh, about his personality in particular, but I wanted to cover a few things that we already know. I mean, his famous Trump Force One, for example, on this, this is a classic example of a person that needs to be seen to be potent, to be effective, to be uh, perhaps important, and self-promotion and all those qualities we link 
we link with this. We can see that Donald Trump is in, is in many ways in touch with the horoscopic patterns portrayed in his birth chart here. But what I wanted to point out um, here in terms of an experiment is the idea that uh, full moon and new moon positions uh, as they come up each month create what uh, is generally known as a hot spot. It's a, a ball of energy or a, or a placement which seems to have stored up energy. See, because I'm going to do another um, a video on full and new moons, um, their, their symbolism. But what they essentially do is they start off at a new and weave into the, uh, let's say, atmosphere through the moon's uh, progression throughout the uh, monthly cycle. It weaves into it a kind of special f force of energy or dynamic relating to the sign. And where it falls in our birth chart, it tends to emphasize the, um, the axis of, um, of the houses. In this case, the 5th and the 11th. The 11th is often to do with international affairs. But those people, the groups of people that surround him, his friends or in, in Saturn in there, his, his enemies in many ways. Because we can see in traditional astrology, Saturn represents his 7th house here also. So in a certain form of reading, we could say these are the open enemies, the people that he knows that are against him. In general, we see a very problematic here, Pluto opposed to Saturn, and I've talked about this in other videos. We can expect a great deal of pressure to be going on in 2019 and 2020. Pluto represents change, and in his chart, these are the hidden enemies underneath. Um, some people have called this the deep state. States are often connected to the sign of Capricorn to do with structure and to do with organizations of a particular kind, but there's elements hidden underneath which want to come out and will attack his position and power. Uh, I have been absolutely astonished about the uh, stature and um, uh, stamina that this man seems to have for, uh, for a person uh, of his age, but also the mental stamina that you have to have. There's been so many attacks uh, against him in the press, in the television, and uh, it seems to have created at least this, uh, he's created a division of people that are for him and against him. Typical Gemini, because once you've got that uh, contrasting uh, dynamic going, lots of energy happen around it, lots of movement, lots of progression. There's a, there's a momentum as soon as the word Trump is, um, is, is mentioned. And so what we see is that the full moon, uh, which occurs at, uh, let's have a look here, uh, 24 Capricorn, uh, the full moon here. Uh, 24 Capricorn uh, Cancer happens on the 17th of July, um, but it's the position that is is the most important thing. It's the, the degree position 24, because in theory, what we see is that if any of the natal planets are also connected to the full or new moon positions, it seems to be charged up. And we see here that this Saturn is being charged up by this full moon decree. It's what I call a hot spot, and I'm sure many people have, have, have noted this. You see, and so the theory is that this planet is particularly um, uh, hot. It, 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 it seems to vibrate in a certain way. It's as if it has to break out. And Saturn is one's power, one's position. And it seems to be here that this is especially hot because Venus will be transiting that between the 23rd 22nd and 23rd of July, and on the 26th to the 20 uh, to the 31st of July, we also have Mercury. Uh, now, when whenever a, a hot spot position is transited by a planet, we can usually see something appearing. This would represent, as I say, friends, and I, I believe that this is going to be a turnabout in the administration in some way. New announcements are going to be made uh, with Mercury here. And with the Venus here, this is some, something about um, uh, the, the financial situation in America is going to be announced. 
this happens also within line of a Pluto transit of that Saturn. And so we can see forces underneath trying to tear down this administration that they don't like. And so Pluto here, the subversive organizations beneath things, our own hidden enemies, whether they be psychological or whether they be actual, is transiting opposition to this Saturn over the next two years. This reflects a very uh, a strong uh, uh, pull, if you like, against the, the, the powers that he's managed to accumulate, that Trump has accumulated. Uh, this could also uh, represent something of a weakness in the system, um, a bodily position in, in, in many ways, uh, and yet Trump is extremely uh, full of stamina. What I've seen in political astrology is that Pluto and Saturn both represent power. This is an ultimate tussle for power. We are in for a very um, strong and uh, virulent uh, 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 campaign against Trump, but also strong from him. This is a power between the battles of his own ego, his own position, his own ability to carry through what he says, very strong Saturn, very uh, placed in cancer, so there's a strong, powerful and emotional conviction behind what he does, and this opposing of Pluto, this very strong, this deep state idea that those people that want to pull him down have ideas about doing so. Uh, it depends uh, largely in um, people in power whether they take on the mantle of Pluto themselves, whether they can somehow uh, imbue themselves with a, a strong, very powerful dynamic against the forces that threaten to pull him down. So we watch out between these two particular dates, the 22nd and the 23rd, when Venus conjoins that. And notice that Venus is his 10th house, so this will probably be an announcement, something to do with people in high office. And also the uh, uh, 26th to 31st of July, when Mercury goes over here with, again, another announcement. The triggers are very interesting. It doesn't really matter what planet it is, but we can see a person in his administration, you know, probably a friend of some kind, uh, comes under um, uh, difficulty or some, some, some kind of control or restraint. Um, we see the hotting up, of course, with Iran at the moment, and uh, it has been announced that they have um, uh, gone over the limit of the uh, uranium enrichment uh, program that they were allowed by uh, the, the so-called deal. We will have to see what happens there, but it's a very tense time at the moment. But my point here, just to repeat, is to test out this hotspot idea, particularly when it's on such a powerful planet as Saturn. That, that planet which in us keeps things together, keeps boundaries in place, which are under threat at this moment of time. Thank you.